Um, can you talk about within what time frame this new information from the Israeli government reached the State Department? Uh, I'm just not going to speak to that specificity on diplomatic engagements. What I can say is that uh, they provided additional information to us, and that is a process that's going to continue to be ongoing. But was that additional information supplied after the Secretary made his uh, revealed that some determinations had been made? I, I'm just not going to get into the, the diplomatic engagements that we have. What I can say is that this is consistent with the memorandum of understanding in which we have with Israel to talk about these things uh, prior to any conclusions that are, uh, that are made under things that fall under the Foreign Assistance Act. Generally speaking, are governments under Leahy that we have relationships with bound by a certain amount of time? They are not. Which they need to provide evidence or, uh, uh, or sort of confirm that they have taken steps like mm -hmm. they are not or, they so are this not. is a completely open-ended process and violations can stretch on for an indeterminate amount of time and at what point then does the department actually take any punitive measures well again you have to it's important to remember uh olivia that each country is different so it's difficult to talk about these circumstances with a broad brush stroke what i can say is that there is not a stipulation on timing uh but we'll continue to have these engagements and we will press directly with uh governments and countries about sharing applicable information again in the context of israel this is a government in which we have a long-standing security relationship with uh there is constant uh around the clock evaluation evaluation and vetting ongoing uh, as it relates to the security parameters and circumstances on the ground. Uh, so we are looking at reports. We are looking at public reporting. We're looking at uh, media reporting, just as we would do, do in any conflict zone, uh, ensuring that there are no uh, violations of international law, no violations of humanitarian law. But that seems to be at the core of the problem here, is that Israel is a unique country being offered unique treatment. They are not being stance. offered unique treatment. There is nothing that I have outlined here that is inconsistent with the Leahy process that is that when it comes to the countries that which we have security You've relationships with. You cited the long-standing security relationship and how it might Because there are here. some countries in which the relationship we have with them uh, would require us to approach this just slightly differently. Uh, Ukraine being an example, Egypt being an example, Israel being another example. But there is not a special treatment. There is not a different standard. So what does to, slightly differently mean? So Israel is a country uh, that in which uh, we have a longstanding security relationship. There is uh, a lot of uh, bulk uh, assistance that is going, whether uh, to use an example, things like bulletproof vests or something, uh, in which the government of Israel may choose to uh, want something like that, and then it is them then on the central government to disseminate that to specific units or components within their security system. Um, so for countries in which we have that kind of long-standing deep relationship, in Israel's case, it's called the Israel Leahy Vetting Forum, there is around the clock, uh, uh, proactive, constant vetting and evaluation of the circumstances that are on the ground to assess whether there are international, uh, there, whether there are violations of international humanitarian law, violations of, of international law. That is a process that is ongoing. There is no such thing as special treatment or double standards here. The standards of the Leahy law are applied consistently to all countries. Now, in some countries, like the ones that I, 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 uh, I, I stipulated, the security relationship is such as that there is this additional forum uh, uh, vehicle, but that is not a d d double standard or any kind of special treatment. I want to defer to my colleagues, which is, I mean, it just yeah. seems hard to countenance there's no double standard with this is a special arrangement and, and you know, set of circumstances. It's not a Israel special enjoys. arrangement. The standards of which are, are in fact, it is an, a, taking a closer look at the situations on the ground. It's not a double standard. The standards are the same. It is a forum created to allow for the engage for, for, for an assessment uh, that is uh, com comparable to the kind of security relationship that we have with that particular country. Israel is not the only one that in which this model exists. My last question on this is that does the State Department believe that actually taking punitive measures under Leahy in this instance with regard to this one unit would somehow damage diplomatic relations with Israel? I'm not going to get ahead of that process, Olivia, um, and we would certainly hope not, because throughout this whole process, uh, we have been clear-eyed and consistent. You've heard the Secretary, you've heard the President, um, you've heard me, you've heard Matt, uh, that throughout the course of this 
conflict you have, we have reiterated our, uh, our, our unwavering commitment to Israel's security. Um, that was true then, it is true now. And Leahy is unit specific. It is not a bearing on the broader security relationship that we have with that uh, particular country. I will also note that this is uh, continues to be an ongoing process. And if at any point uh, remediation efforts or things like that are found to be inconsistent with the standards that we find, there of course will be uh, a, a restriction on applicable uh, US assistance. We intend to be uh, an administration that's going to follow uh, the law as prescribed. Uh, Tom, oh sorry, I'm, let me go to Leon because he's had his hand up, then I'll come to you. Side, of course,